Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillah Wahda Wa salatu wa salam Ala men la nabiyya ba'd Salat al-jama'a ayyua al-habba The congregational prayer Is incredibly important for the mu'min Especially for the male that is able to perform the Salat in congregation. That we should strive our best to pray in the congregational prayer as much as possible. Especially, of course, if you can hear the Adhan. But in situations like we live in the West, it's obviously, it's, that is not the situation. And sometimes we live, or often we live, far away from the Masjid. And it requires much more difficulty getting to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray. And the masjid is the most beloved place to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should strive our best to spend more time in the masjid than in the marketplace. Because the masjid is the most beloved to Allah and the marketplace is the most hated place to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is first and foremost a uh, or an advice for myself and then my brothers in Islam. Strive your best to perform the congregational prayer. And just to have a basic idea of the reward of it, of how great it is, if nothing else, just for the reward, to increase your reward. Not saying that your praying alone is going to be uh, not accepted or what have you, although some of the ulama, they have uh, views that are similar to that. However, what we know clearly from the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ is that it is much better to pray in congregation and your reward will be amplified uh, 25 to 27 times. An Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Salat al-jama'ati afdalu min salat al-fiddi bi sab'i wa ashreen daraja. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, as was related by in the hadith of uh, Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'anhuma, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, the prayer in congregation, or the congregational prayer, is better than the prayer of a person or the man by himself by 27 times. So this hadith right here illustrates for us the importance of praying in Jama'ah. And some of the benefits we can gain from this hadith that Shaykh Ali Bassam rahimahullah ta'ala, may Allah bless him with Jannah to Firdaus, Stated, he said, in this hadith, it is, it make it clarifies for us that it is better to pray in Salat al Jama'ah. Another benefit of this hadith is that it uh, clarifies for us the little reward that there is in praying by oneself in comparison to Salat al Jama'ah. Meaning, of course, Salat is Azim. It's the second pillar of Islam. And it's so great. And it is your communication between you and your Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet, sallallahu said regarding its importance and regarding the one who left the prayer, he said, Men, men taraka salat fakad kafara. Whoever leaves the prayer has disbelief. So letting us know that this pillar of Islam is Azim, the prayer in and of itself. But when a person or when a man who is required to pray in congregation prays in congregation, it is worth 27 times. The ajr, the reward is 27 times. So the comparison between the two, uh, when we make a comparison, we find that it is immensely greater to pray in jama'ah. Another benefit of this hadith is the reward 
uh, the difference between the reward is is tremendous, as we just mentioned. And uh, a last benefit the Sheikh mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, uh, the Sheikh says, and this is a rebuttal of those people who negate that the person who prays, uh, the man who prays by himself, who doesn't go in Salat to Jama'ah, that his prayer is, is not accepted or is false. This is the Sheikh, the Sheikh said, the, this hadith also illustrates for us the soundness of the person who prays by themselves of their prayer, that their prayer is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. However, the reward is less, and that's because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Salat al-Jama'ah afdalu min salat al fitni He said that it is better than, so because he used the term better, better than, afdalu min, this lets us know that the other one is also good, but this is better. The other, praying by yourself is good. There's ajr. It's a ni'mah from Allah to be able to do that. But it is better if you want more reward. You want to get the sunnah, the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You want a greater level in paradise, bi'idnillah. Then you should pray the salat al-jama'ah. So those are just some of the benefits that we gain from this hadith. And it is uh, a great ni'mah to seek knowledge from the ulama. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to come back and benefit from the scholars while they're still living. Especially the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'ah who give us the toji hat and the guidance of how to practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who stand st stern and firm on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's an example for us. May Allah bless us to be like them because there are so many people who are calling to the gates of the hellfire. And this is clear. This is from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his hadith. He said this. So just accept it. That not everyone you listen to, not everyone you hear a lecture from, not everyone you see is calling you to good. No matter how it feels, the lecture. He talks about the science of this related to the Quran. He talks about how the hadith uh, of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how they're metaphorical and makes analogies. But this goes against the path and the minhaj of the salaf. And this goes against the people, Ahl Iman. Ahl Iman was Sunnah are calling you to sincerity to Allah and to follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sabila Sahaba. But those people call you to the hellfire and call you to deviation. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kullu bid'atin dalala. And every bid'ah is is in is misguidance. And every misguidance leads you to the hellfire. So we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas and bless us with sunnah and bless us to, to, to practice what we preach and be better than what the people think us to be. And may Allah forgive us of all our sins and bless us to go forward and guide those people who are calling people to dalal and guide the ummah of Muhammad to wake up and to be able to have the tools to be able to tell real knowledge from false knowledge. To be able to tell guidance from misguidance because many of them, أَكْثَرَهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَ مُحَمَّدٍ